everyone. I'm Pat Rocky. Ray Murray is taking the night off. At Rahway State Prison in New Jersey, the jailhouse door slammed behind one group of inmates, and they knew that was the last time they'd be free men. They are lifers in prison until their dying day. They spit in the face of society and did the unthinkable, most violent crimes, and now they're paying for it. But life inside is taking on a whole new meaning for these men because now they found music. If you have the nerve or the audacity to come to prison and not listen to us, we will suck your blood. They go by the names Almighty L, Amazing G, and the Nightmare Man. They're part of a 15-member rap group. They've played under the world's largest freestanding dome. It's called East Jersey State Prison. They're called the Lifers, and the message in their music is simple. They don't want you to become a member of their group. Look, you've heard a lot of stories about prison. You've seen movies, you've seen documentaries, but this is where it's really happening. This is where the real truth is about the joint. You even so much as get weak. There's always an animal in here waiting to prey on you. It's just like slavery back in the days. Behind a steel cage gate, you can't escape, and it doesn't make a difference what colors your race. You can't um, come out your womb, you want to come out your womb, you can't take a shower, you want to take a shower, you can't have certain things, you know, they strip you of everything you come here, and that's not fun, that's, that's nothing to be proud of. I just want them to tell me anything. The Lifers Group started in 1976 with a program called Scared Straight. Back then, kids would have to come to the maximum security penitentiary to see and hear the horrors of prison life. Now they can listen to them on CDs or watch them on videos. I used to have a name, but now I got a number. I used to put seconds, six feet under. Now I'm in jail, no longer a rebel. You can't tell me damn thing about the ghetto. I've been there. A lot of the kids are listening to rap music. You find that they're not going to be looking at the evening news. They're not going to be, uh, you know, they're not going to have their face in a book or a magazine. They're, they'll be listening to rap music or looking at MTV. Get them off the hook. I'm not bugging and mugging. Selling drugs is forbidden. Young dog punks don't come to railway prison because the drugs is the enemy. Believe me, I'm talking. Tell is hell and the cell is a coffin made of steel. This is the real deal. Here we go. The lyrics in many of the lifer songs are harsh but realistic. They're in stark contrast to other rap groups like N.W.A., Public Enemy, and Ice Cube. Their music, the lifers say, paints a picture of a glorified prison life. But the lifers claim they know the real deal. Sometimes I wake up, man, and I realize that, you know, I might not make this. That, you know, uh, I'm slowly losing my family members. That, you know, I don't know if my health will make it. And I just, you know, I'm in tears. Then I have to tell myself, man, you crying. You know, slow down. Get yourself together. Because I don't know if I'm losing my mind when I start crying like that. What they have learned, the experiences that they have learned, can help some people. And it helps them. Because uh, a lot of times when these guys leave here, if, they're, if, they're, if they ever get a chance to leave here, they something have, have something to fall back on. Absolute Carter. I've been living this, and um, I'm telling them that it's hell in here. I don't want to see them go through that. They're innocent. They don't know what they're doing, some of those kids. And that's why I care. I got two sons and a daughter. What you're asking me is why should I care for them? You know, I don't want my kids or nobody's kids to fall into this. I mean, this is hell, man. We got to go, and I can't get this generation here. My black brothers, y'all. It's reality. We're trying to give them reality, not Hollywood. Hollywood hasn't been too kind to the lifers. Their videos are not aired on MTV, and the songs have received little play on the radios. Many claim it's because the language is too strong. And I'm a sad to punk if you try to react to the fact that he was just like dog <laughs> on the street with something, but it's hell, he <laughs> getting his the lyrics were necessary and they were a bit somewhat toned down and uh if we didn't give them the lyrics that we given them i think we would have been shortchanging them and selling out to them the real realities of prison life life and death go together forever and ever i got a letter of refusal the wrong court said i haven't paid my dues i got the blues still this is the real deal so the lyrics are hard because the reality is hard 
If you were to take a German shepherd and put it in this cell right now, the ASPCA would condemn this cell. But yet they put a human being and I can't even stretch my arms across it. Whenever a kid contacts me, they say, wow, man, I'm glad y'all got a program like that. I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to go in there. And that's what, you know, that's when we know we've been successful. I also have boxes full of letters from mothers, which are simple little words like, thank you, thank you for giving my, my son back. Parole is out of the question. Some of the, a lot of these guys will die in here. The harshest of all realities for many of the lifers is that they will never leave hey, the hey, confines hey, of their six by nine foot cells. Some who aren't serving a life term will go free, but the ones with the life sentences carry hope, not for themselves, but for the ones on the outside. We're trying to save them from ending up in places like this or using drugs, which will end up, they'll either be incarcerated or they'll end up in the graveyard for killing themselves. You're not going to beat the system with a gun and you're not going to beat the system with a knife. You're going to beat the system with a pen and pencil. Wise up. Why is that? If it only reaches one or two, you know, I, I, out of a hundred, you know, then something has been accomplished because that one may be the one who makes the change for somebody else in the future. The Lifers Group World Tour, while we're in prison, that is, is powerful music that makes a powerful statement about the prison experience. And these artists on the inside are hoping their message will be heard loud and clear by juveniles who are thinking about thumbing their nose at the law. There is nothing romantic about a life behind bars. <laughs> Follow me not, follow me not, you get caught.